because I, I don't know how much help with CK needs, but an Earth Spirit does not really make the lane that much more difficult. So we'll see what they opt for as uh, Yola Knight will pick up a Troll Warlord as their likely one position. I, I haven't seen Troll go mid in a very, very long time. So I'm guessing no. that they're going to be giving this to Smiling Knight. Yeah, it seems pretty good. And you can go for the Battle Fury if you want on the Troll or even just a Maelstrom. Gives you something to get through a CK and uh, try and reveal the real McCoy. And the Evasion, of course, really, really nice on all those illusions. But they're going to put a little Lunar on KSK. They are going off the rails right now, boys. What is going on? Once upon a time, the Luno CK combination was pretty hilarious. Uh, they, the, the primary attribute from Lunar Blessing was really nice on CK. Rip. Uh, not yeah rip now uh so kind of curious maybe comfort like i said i thought ksk should just go for comfort Five and if they're if they're comfortable with uh because i mean maybe this could be an offlane ck uh luna mid baby let's go let's get some loose be beams in the sky i'm yeah, ready it, there's i mean there's a lot of like flex potential because i don't really have like set locations for any of these heroes that ksk have picked they banned out a meepo which is warranted because uh, whatever strategy they're going for is probably very dependent on not getting cheesed out. So hopefully they're also content having to go up against a Broodmother, because I can see a Broodmother yep. completely wrecking shop this game. Yeah, we've got to be a concern. KSK, what is, what is the missing puzzle piece here? The thing which is going to bring it all together, the fastening could, clip. It could. I, I'm kind of leaning towards a mid laner, Five seconds but and so are Yola Knight. Is Yola Knight ban out Storm Spirit? Uh, I'm gonna be so... hyped if Luna's mid to be fair. Like I, I, I don't think it's. I don't know how well it'll do, but all right, they got the Kunker. I don't know where anyone's. I'm, I'm guessing Kunker mid, Luna safe playing CK off lane. That that Correct. seems most likely. Yeah, and the in thing which is, case you, can... you don't. Sorry, go ahead. Ne you don't necessarily need Enchantress to go in the safe lane then, because Luna has Lucent Beam to deal with the boar. Mm -hmm. So uh, you can you can pair Shadow Demon, and obviously Shadow Demon, Luna, a meme Ten as old as time. Uh, again. Yeah. I, I don't know if you can make it to the late game, but it, it does take a care of the biggest criticism that I had of the game one. Draft. Quickly before it comes out, they no can one. run the troll at mid and no, they're going to go for the Monkey King anyway. Okay, so probably MK mid, although they can put the troll there if they really want to, but I imagine Monkey King goes mid. Um, yeah. He's going to dump this, this this Kunker if he's in the middle lane and yeah. Copy is playing it. So yeah, um, concerns now for me. Uh, they've got CK off lane, Luna safe lane. Uh, Luna, Luna and Flim, they... Yeah, Flimney's on the Enchantress, so... Oh, okay. They wow, should so do... There's... That's like the double whammy onto the Beastmaster, but it's Misery on the Beastmaster. Yeah. What the hell? Five up on Whoa. the Earth Spirit. They're, they're swapping it twist. around. Wow. This story has many and twists and turns. And you doubted the core Earth Spirit. I was, I was about to look up five ups... <laughs> the Dota buff or something, and you were like, I don't think that's the case with having a Beastmaster. Well, I was I was totally with you, but a misery might still be playing the off lane on five up. Might, I mean, it might just be like if he doesn't get his Pangolier, then he goes to the full no, position. Well, but... I mean, the Beastmaster is like, like we said, like they have, there's a double whammy against the Beastmaster. Either yeah, he's true, gonna get his board true. stolen, or it's gonna get nuked left and right. So you can just might as well just build. refer him into like I don't know Axe's inner beast, I suppose. Yeah, I actually think, like, uh, even if you're playing offlane, though, I think axes are very underrated. Like, they, they are really not that bad, and it helps you see... You can you can CS really, really easily um, with axes down, because obviously you get the bonus damage. It's 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 not as bad as people seem to think. Um, get, get a little bit of slow in there, and your damage can really amp up. Um, I don't know, but uh, in, in pro game, I mean, obviously the balls just so value. I mean, they are ridiculously so, good, those balls, and they have much more purpose than just amplifying damage. In pub games, five ups, top five heroes are Pango, Invoker, Earthshaker, Rubik, and Earth Spirit. So it's his fifth most played hero. And then in competitive games, it's like his sixth or seventh most played hero. Okay. So uh, he's got he's got history with it. He's not level twenty five with it. Instead, he's level seventeen with that it. Last match, previous match, lost ten one and seventeen as Earth Spirit. What the hell happened? I mean, there? He, he was carrying. Oh, yeah, <laughs> his team couldn't keep up the pace. Guess not. Sixty nine losses as Luna. So. Interesting. Interesting, so... right there. Let's get into this one. So, yeah, misery like has the quelling blade. Misery so the Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Come many twists many twists but yeah we're gonna see some misery offlane right now let's 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 go let's go i'm excited um but yeah zero solar flim the all heading down to this bottom lane but 
I imagine it. Beastmaster is going to get nothing. <laughs> Such a miserable aim for a Beastmaster. Oh, dude, you know what they should do? I just figured it out. I just figured it all out. Everything has uh, come together. Let me uh, share my divine wisdom upon you, you yeah, foolish mortals me. who haven't yet figured it out. They're going to go CK Ags, baby, and they're going to make illusions off the Lunar, yeah. and they, unless they change it. Did they change it? N no, well, they kind of changed it. Now it makes illusions of your entire team. It used to be oh, you, okay. you had to target one person. Yeah. And now it makes illusions of everyone. All right, I haven't seen that yet. I, I used to I used to do Chaos Knight for us. They're actually beating down Smiling Knight right now, but uh, they're going to throw down the Purge onto Smiling Knight, keep him okay. And now the return comes in, and Sola, he is surrounded by heroes, so he's going to try and go for the first one instead. Can he get into time? He doesn't do enough damage. Tragic death for Sola as he tries to get the first blood. It was the correct play, but unfortunately just didn't have enough in the end there, and the Fairy Fire on the Troll helping him out a lot also along with the stick so he's gonna live first blood goes the way of uh the Olo knight yeah and filmini is getting bullied out of his uh bounty rune range so we'll see if misery will be able to get his he does not mm. copy comes out on top yeah copy comes out to uh to pay a visit and low skill even coming around as well i throw him a couple of right clicks here with that uh with that lunar blessing leveled up <laughs> Poor, poor Aura. Used to be so good, and now it's pretty damn meh. Wait, what's meh? Luna Blessing. Oh, yeah, I know. I don't know why they just gave all the cool stuff to Venge. It, know, it's, right? kind of, it's very disappointing. I imagine if Luna had a had an illusion after she died. That, that'd actually be OP. Never mind. <laughs> and um, not necessarily thematically uh, accurate. <laughs> well, I, guess, also, I guess, where what? is the illusion factor into Vengeful Spirit? That's also kind of peculiar. Yeah, I mean, I guess being a spirit, I don't know. You could just call yeah. it like a moon illusion. Like, I'm sure you could write it in some way. That's like, true. It's I'm with you. Although, as we, as KSK are hoping for, Luna illusions are a force to be reckoned with. And so it would be a massive buff if she got an illusion. Because if they do manage to come anywhere near a tower, uh, I'm, I'm actually curious if, uh, if Shadow Demon is going to be skilling up differently just because he has Luna on his team. Um, I, I don't really think Soulcatcher is like that value this game. It's it's kind of nice against a troll warlord to be able to force him into having to use his battle trance earlier on to stay alive. But uh, with all the dispels, I, I don't really see Soulcatcher being too useful. So I, I'm guessing he's going to be maxing out disruption anyway and alternating That's between that and shadow poison. Um, but whenever they do finally get their hands on a tower, they should be able to get through it very very quickly because. Even the wave clear of Yolo Knight is not great. They have Ballast Strike, I guess, uh, the Boulder Smash, and ranged Whirling Axes, which is not that great. Uh, so, yeah, they, they're not great at being able to discourage KSK from pushing. Yeah. It's, uh, it seems like KSK, you know, they, they, they can take buildings this game as you wanted from last game. Um, that's going to be the, the biggest throughout the map, but... I think I think the lanes are just going to be so brutal. I mean, this monkey. There's no way this monkey king loses mid. There's absolutely no way. Like Co Copy is going to get his little paradise handed back to him on a plate. I like what he's done though. Um, this is this is some cheeky gameplay. Just getting behind the tower here. Yeah, you know, I can't lane up versus this monkey king, so I'm not going to lane up versus the monkey. I'm going to make my own lane, and it's going to be way cooler than your lane. I'm going to drag the creep around and have some fun. So that's 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 very commendable. How long can he keep this up? Probably not that long, and he's still probably going to lose out on CS because uh, the Monkey King is just in a better place, and his creeps aren't immediately going to run into a tower. So, ah, but let me let me hit you with a with a possibility. What if Monkey King okay. is not playing the game? Uh, yeah, Wait. what? Mm. Still, still, still think you'd you know? I don't know. No, okay. If the Monkey King's AFK, and maybe the, maybe the Kunk is in with a shot. Well, I'll give him that. We're off to a good start. <laughs> oh, never mind. Throw it out the window. Oh, no, my KSK, oh, they're, they're, they're having troubles once again here. Uh, I'm interested to see how this top lane goes, though. Uh, Luna versus Beastmaster. It's, it sounds pretty good with the Enchantress there just to disrupt the boars. Beastmaster, though, Misery, he doesn't care. He's going to go for the boars anyway. He cares not Dyer's about this inch. Meanwhile, five up, still running away from the inch, but still grabbing the creeps yeah, across as well, I, so he's doing I, very well. What is going on? Mio is having garbage internet issues. I, I'm surprised that Filmini was even contesting with the Earth Spirit this early on. Um, level 1 boar isn't the biggest deal, so uh, I guess he thought that it would be in his interest to instead discourage 5-Up from doing anything, but he didn't discourage anything. Like 5-Up still managed to steal the wave just fine, so a little bit surprised that he didn't just steal the boar. The only other alter alternative is if he took Impetus at one and he wanted to harass the Earth Spirit with damage, but he didn't. He took Enchanted one. So, yeah, hopefully he puts the next cooldown on stealing Misery's next boar. 
Yeah. Yeah, and that's uh I feel like if you wanted to interrupt the pull, then you just go for uh, the pull across, then you just go for the impetus. But um right. yeah, go for the enchant does feel a little bit awkward. A little, little, little bit awkward. And are there any spells which completely break the lore of a hero and don't make any sense to them whatsoever? Hmm. There have I mean, been many think... reworked spells, but most of them have been like pretty accurate thematically. One of the like, ones uh... I hate is the uh the cosmetic which changes oh he's actually got it as well the gun tide bringer oh the is gun just swashbuckle so oh, gun... triggering oh, to me yeah, yeah the, the the gun's tide bringer is just yeah. like I'm the description okay of the spell is conquer's legendary sword grants increased That's damage true. and cleave right and he pulls That's out true. a gun it's like I mean, come on man wait so what is what is the description for swashbuckle let's see uh dashes along and several quick swipes okay so nothing it says slashes and swipes but nothing nothing like sword so yeah I'm, I'm with you at least it's like a cool bayonet kind of uh old timey gun but yeah it fair doesn't enough, matter fair how enough, big your gun is against a gigantic sword as zero actually gonna give up first blood in the bot land yeah a little bit surprised about that one but spiny light and master wrist do get together and bring him down um, I guess I mean just yeah. This is this is the Axis spam, which is so well known for just absolutely annihilating many many heroes in the in the offense. So look, and he's Solar. he's on the receiving end of this right now. A smiling knight just chasing him Question down. Mark? I mean he, he could get the route. Might not even need it here. He's got another pair of axes in a couple of seconds. Yeah, there you go. Right clicks coming on through there. Master Wrist with the route himself with his Q. That'll do the job. All right, and now Filmini has actually stolen a satyr in the offlane. Interesting. Uh, which also, I suppose, kind of fulfills the same thing, which is at the end of the day, you just need something that can kill the boar. If it's one of your own units, great. If you steal it from Beastmaster, great. Uh, I wonder if Misery is just going to, like, stack or something? Because, I, I don't know. But yeah, yeah, he gets his boar stolen. Like, what is he supposed to do in this land? <laughs> yeah, this is, this is looking a little bit awkward. That's now have a point in axes, so uh, he's not committing super hard to the uh, to the boar where you go boar beast and just max those two and ignore axes all game. But still, I mean, he's not really getting a looking on this one. He's getting beaten on down. Doesn't have a support though. The the, the earth spirit's down in the bottom lane, looking to do some things, and the thing he wants to do is called solar. They beat him out right now. The rock comes splitting on through. He does manage to get a disruption up onto this uh, troll warlord, but it doesn't really make a difference. They're going to be able to kill him off all the same. Well, a way to steal die. the kill. Are you serious, Master Risk? <laughs> Five up was just like, here, I'm going to body block for him. Don't worry. And Master Risk is like, sweet, free purifying flames. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Five up, for securing that kill for me. You're a great support. Unlike me. How's Copy doing in this middle lane? Not good. 7 and 1 to 14 and 12. That is pretty this ship is sinking tsunami it, yeah. it never really set sail to be honest it left the port and then immediately just just really? sank into the bottom yeah. someone forgot to seal up the floorboards water's come on board and poor pirate is wondering what to do with himself at the same time misery's having an awful time as well he's right down at seven and three so having an equally as bad a time it might even get his career killed no film he can't keep chasing for this one i don't know what this kanker does though yeah uh, at most, maybe he could try cutting the wave in between, but now Mio's chasing him down. Filmini mm, will probably get his Jingu not dispelled. Sure about this one, he could, oh, but he he's... Have... Oh, it's oh he reused it on his sat. Oh. Mm, oh, okay, okay, okay. They're having problems. What? They're having real big problems. That was kind of. I felt as the only way they can actually make that fight work is if they get the Jingu dispelled, I... but. I don't know what she used it on because I I don't think you can re-enchant anymore. I think that was nerfed. I think you like I know you used to be able to re-enchant to extend the duration, but whenever they buffed the duration of creeps to be longer, I think they got rid of that. I think, but I'm not 100% sure. Whatever the case, like you need to save that to get rid of the Jingu, and whatever he used it on was not that. No, not at all. Well, up at top, some blocks going down to Filmini here, and they're going to try and go on to me. Pops the uh, dust a little bit too late here on the Enchantress, but at the same time, they don't actually have the damage to bring her down. A little bit awkward. Filmini just gets two oh, heroes that's... exploding on him, and he's just like, yeah, that's cool by me. No worries. Bro, that's wild. Why did he even buy a dust? That's amazing. <laughs> did he see the end of his real top? Good point. Wow, good point. He got blocked. He got blocked by nothing and was like, wait a minute, something's wrong here. But why did he even have a dust in his inventory? Yeah, I that's I amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Doesn't anymore. he bought it. Yeah, and uh, I, I guess he must have seen the end of his rune up top, and then TP'd up top. Whatever the case, 
Uh, not gonna pan out. Misery is still having a pretty atrocious time in this offlane, but I, I don't think there's any expectation for him to do anything. I think the goal here is just to make sure Troll Warlord gets gigantic and they can end the game before this Shadow Demon Luna combo nation comes online. But so far, they're off to a good start. It is 6 0. 5 up is bruh. I will order pizza, I guess, Philmini says. Suck up. I'm on board with that. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, that's a group pizza. Maybe, maybe Wait, if... is that a type of pizza, Sukuk? Uh, I don't know. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Hop oh no, it's Su, Su. Oh wait, no, never mind. This is a different. Google suggested something else. There's... <laughs> oh no, it is. It's just an alternate spelling. It's a Turkish sausage. Oh, that doesn't S -U -J -U -K. sound. S U J U K. Hmm. Yep. Maybe it's a pizza. Dry, topping. spicy sausage. Lovely, lovely. I'm sure I can uh, put a picture of that up on stream for everybody. No, 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 you can search it yourself. Don't be lazy to chat. Come on, guys. What is, uh, wait, who who said it was the five up? Five up said it. Sukuk with egg, Masterisk. Maybe they're both Turkish players. May maybe that one, uh, Masterisk. No, I don't, I don't remember. Mm, let's see. Rajix is the actual three position for Yolo Knight. And uh, so I don't see Five Ups nationality. Uh, Filmini is from the Czech Republic. So maybe it's in multiple countries. Whatever the case, get yourself some Turkish sausage. Yeah, but better to a sukuk, a shock, to, to brighten your day. <laughs> get, get on your pizza. Get a little cultural understanding. Point. My day. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. Well, I think. Yeah, going and going going into this pause time, you know, got a bit of time to reflect, and I mean, they might have a six six kill advantage and one k gold advantage, but you know, at least Misery's having a horrible time. He's living up to his name right now, not 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 really getting looking in this top lane, and low skills getting. Lots I I just want to see the CK axe. I don't I don't think it's coming, but I've got myself hooked on this idea that CK axe is going to be sick. Yeah, I've uh, I've, I have not actually seen it in an actual game. It's not it's not great though, because I think the. Uh, like technically, I think it was a buff to make it like. I, I think it's global. I think whenever you cast it, it's either it. I couldn't see AOE a range on you. It. Yeah, I couldn't see a range on it. Let's see. What does the what does the wiki have to say? I think it's global, but it's not good. You'd think being able to make illusions of your entire team would be great. Does it give but... the like you know how you can manta dodge stuff? Does it, does it do that? Because if it does oh, that, now I remember. Okay, so it only makes one illusion of an ally. Yes, correct. Which and is much worse percent. than what the old Ags used to be, which is like you would use the full Phantasm on an ally. Yeah, it was so good yeah. actually. I think it was. I I didn't. See, I don't never see it in a game except for the ones which I played. But uh, we used to queue with the CK Terror Blade. Terror Blade pops meta. Mm. You make illusions of him, and then like yeah. when you Phantasm someone with the anti armor. Oh my god, they just imploded. It was hilarious. But uh, the illusions are very squishy as well. Was the flip side of that. Because CK's illusions always feel quite tanky, but that's because he's a strength hero. When you take a magic hero, they don't feel uh, that strong. But yeah, I think his, uh, his axe is probably garbage, but just for the chance that you could dodge, like, you know, imagine dodging it's like a... Uh, that's the other know, thing, uh, is that I'm not 100% sure if it has the Phantasm, like, animation. Yeah. It may it may just, like, be like a... Like an illusion... Well, now Illusion Rune has that kind of thing, but what old Illusion Rune used to be. Yeah, I have not extensively tested it because it's not good. <laughs> I don't know why they changed it. I mean, it was bad, and they were like, hey, let's make it worse. You yeah. know, at, le at least Terrorblade got a bit of an increase. You know, he didn't use it when he popped meta, which is pretty damn fixing for that for that awful, awful Aghanims. Still bad, but not like bad, bad. I think we saw someone pick it up the other day, and it, it looked okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, CK Eggs, it was bad, and now they made it like really bad. No, no. But still, I mean, you know, all, all these illusions buffed up by Luna. Um, you can get some extra ones of the Shadow Demon if they somehow didn't have any wave clear on the side. Unfortunately, they do, but... Actually, I guess they don't. They've got, like, yeah, axes. That's not and... great. A lot of axes. Axes from Beastmaster and axes from Troll. If your illusions are dying to those nukes, then you, you've got bigger issues. Yeah. I mean, I thought it would have been cool if CK could uh, use Fanta on, like... They made the magic immune or something like that. I don't feel like that would be too OP. And mm. I think that would make the hero scale a little Dude, bit. Dude, yeah, better. they should give them the, the same talents that uh, the the golem has at 25. Which is just <laughs> yeah, like perfect. A ton of armor or 
a ton of spell immunity, which they also got hit by the 20% nerf. So it's like they're 80% spell immune, I think. Yeah, 80% sm uh, magic resistance for chaotic offering golems. It used to be spell immunity, and now it's 80% magic resistance at 25 for warlock, which is much worse because yeah. the whole thing was like, oh, yeah, my golems can't get stunned anymore. That was the main thing. Yeah. It wasn't like, oh, yeah, they're so, they take so little damage. No one cares about that. Indubitably. Indubitably. Zero coming forwards now, throwing the storm at the smiling light. They've got a decent amount of damage on him. Might be able to finish the job, but he pops those axes, try and get that evasion off. Zero keeping out of range, but needs to come back in to finish the job. But they're actually not committing to that one, which I find a little bit don't. disappointing. They throw the stun forward on him, but they're not going to go for this. They cancelled out itself. Good on the Shadow Demon to manually detonate the poison to cancel it as quickly as possible. But do not get the kill. Meanwhile, top lane misery is still taking abuse, but a roll in. Oh, the kick? Oh! Wait, what? 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 Top lane. Oh. Yeah, roll in. Five up. That's the guy who rolls. I was looking for a tusk, and I was like, where's the tusk in this game? Roll in where? But it's a mid lane where we find the kill. Mio is able to bring down Copy, getting that right click through, just diving him under the tier one tower. Mio is pretty unstoppable at this point in the game. He's doing what he wants, when he wants, and no one's going to stop him. Is that going to change yeah, in the future? Gonna... Seems no, unlikely. It's not. I, I don't anticipate anyone being able to do very much. Another roll onto the low skill Luna. <laughs> Not a flame, by the way, that is his name. But unfortunately, <laughs> it's looking like he's out of life right now as they're running through the trees. Just turn around for a right click, five up still on top of him, but I can't actually finish the job. And instead, they get a kill onto Misery. And now Flimney, he's four. coming in. Oh, look at these blocks. Look at these blocks. He's please playing him right now nice. and dodges the top of these rollers. Well, Flimney just absolutely ruins five up's day. Jesus, that, that, was, that was illegal. That was honestly like entirely leveraged by him stealing the boar because originally the Luna was getting kited, would have probably. Uh, been in range for like another few auto attacks, but Filmini steals the boar and slows the Beastmaster instead and then uses it again on the Earth Spirit. So I'm, I'm surprised that Earth Spirit's even bothering with this land. It seems like too far gone at this point. And Misery also has indeed been stacking, so I think that this is the best use of his time. Just. This is, this is what old offlane Beastmaster used to do. He would, like, sacrifice the lane as Mio yet again gets another kill on Kunk in the mid lane, this time with help from yeah, we, we, We've stopped watching that one now, as it's, it's just it's just too violent. Now looking onto Mio, though. Mio, he's got to get the Jink off, but once again, Flumini's used the enchant already, so uh, killing him off here could be somewhat difficult. He's going to get himself to the trees and will be kept alive. Meanwhile, Five Up's having problems with low skill right now, as low skill continues to keep on chasing him here. Another loser beam comes down, but oh, the roll no. away just about and in the smoke. time. Oh, what oh. A Dodges the right clicks as well. Beautiful. Yeah, was that yeah, a stun was a, coming towards him as well? It was. It was a chaos oh. bolt. So that had potential to kill him. So Damn. <laughs> really sick play. I don't know why Luna lo rotated. She is having like the freest of lanes up top. And she doesn't have, even have the mana for Eclipse. So she just kind of abandons the top lane. And this now Zero's rotating is. also. Misery? Yeah, he's, he's got to get his turkeys roasted up here in the top lane. Oh no, the neutral oh, queen! Oh! <laughs> Mr. Tomato, man, coming in clutch. Thank you very much, sir. Oh my god. That is... That is so bad. The offlaner TP'd oh, up top. Christ, what the hell is going on? He'll, he'll fill me in the bottom lane. Alright, Smile Knight just runs him down. No worries. Back, back to you, sir. Oh my god, and his courier. Solar's courier got killed with his boots. Why is everything dying right now? Haystrun gets oh, purged off. Oh god, copy. Someone give this man a break. He does actually manage to get a fairly nice... Oh, a little disruption coming out as well from Solar. So, might have kept his friend alive. Probably gave his own life for this one. But, hey, you know what? Ra ra rather me than him, he says. Goes down with, with pride in his heart. It's 10 to 2. Oh god. It is a bit I don't know why... I don't know why KSK are like moving around so much. Like really, all they, the the game plan is make Luna as gigantic as possible. So just like stack all the camps in the world for her. Let Shadow Demon max out his disruption by like I don't know, uh, Gold from my getting chest. mid lane experience because Kanka's not being able to get anything in the mid lane. So someone should go mid. Uh, and I don't know. Let the CK lane against the Troll Warlord just one v one. I don't know why they're rotating around everywhere. There's no way you're gonna kill this Monkey King very easily. Uh, killing the Beastmaster is like a non-factor. Who cares if you kill this Beastmaster? And I, like, let Earth Spirit do his rotations and just TP react to his rotations. SK are being like way too active for their own good, given their draft. Yeah, agreed. I think. Uh, oh, someone just confirmed in the chat, by the way, that. Um... The uh, basic dispel from uh, Phantasm applies on friendlies, but the disjoint does not. 
Okay. So that yeah, is half the advantage extremely is disappointing. I guess yeah. that's made it so much worse than it needed to be. And now Eclipse. Troll Warlord, he's not got a chance to get up his ulti here. And he's just going to get run down. Nicely done. Alright, so in this situation, I'm okay with the Luna rotating because I don't think she knows where the Monkey King is. And so it's possible that Monkey King may have been rotating top uh, with Earth Spirit up here also. But, I mean, still, like, I, I don't know why they're not just, like, stacking the jungle for her. I, I see zero stacks in the jungle for this Luna. Okay, I see one Ancient stack. That's it. Alright, well, I mean, that helps. Who made it, though? It's a shadow demon. Good job, bro. Uh, Zero tries his luck in the middle lane and uh, does get himself bound to stroke up. Uh, he's just going to kind of stick around, see if he can stay in XP range. That's going to be his plan. Realizes that, ah, there's probably something in the lane I can do much about. And uh, he's going to shift himself away from it and allow Copy to come back in and try and do his thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't think know what I've... that thing may be. He has an yeah. arcane rune and he has boat. So in theory, he could combo the monkey king. Oh, conquer is... with a uh, ocean heart, by the way. That is uh, so on brand. <laughs> Mio quickly evacuates. Yeah, it doesn't want to be caught up, up in Master Risk or... Ooh, yeah, it doesn't have a six. That could, this, this could get messy right now. They're diving under the tower. The TPs are going to come in, but they're trying to take down the Earth Spirit before anyone can really make a difference here, and they will be able to bring down. Misery has joined this one, but he's actually out of mana. Doesn't have the ultimate, and he's going to get cut down as well. But look over towards the Oracle. Meanwhile, the Monkey King's come into this one, and he's looking for a target right now, but he's rooted up. He can't actually find anybody to kill, so he's just going to try and TP himself away. They're all jumping now onto him, oh. and the torrent connects! They managed to get it off in time and kill Steel Commando. They get themselves four kills in this bottom lane. Really sloppy from the side of Yolo Knight as they completely underestimate what Ke Killsteel Commando can do and they get absolutely roasted for it. Yeah, Oracle was so close to level 6 that could have may have been possibly Make the or difference break. maker. Yep. But uh, not, not quite the case and I, I don't blame them for going for that because with Luna Eclipse being down then you'd think that they should have like a pretty good chance of being able to win that team fight but that's assuming that it's like a four on four from the start, which it was not. It was it was very, very staggered entry from YOLO Knight where the Monkey King comes in really late. Uh, the Oracle dies almost instantly. Then the Earth Spirit who gets magnetized off, but what good is magnetized if you can't keep it going with the stones? Yeah, so, true. And, and Beastmaster didn't even end up roaring anyone, which is also, I, I don't know who he was looking for because he definitely had the mana for it but I... he did at first but then he used a different spell and didn't have it anymore because there's, oh, there's nothing okay. which drains his mana right so there's no way someone took his mana yeah. away unless enchantress had a harpy that seems unlikely and to get it off and i mean that would have that would have anyway super oh, so she she might have sent a harpy down to the bottom lane I, <laughs> no i'm just kidding that's didn't happen i don't i must have used like axes or something instead but yeah, yeah. well I, I don't really think aurora would have changed too much no. at least no. maybe monkey king would be able to get one kill but yeah, very, very strange approach to that team fight, and props to KSK for taking it. They definitely found themselves some kind of entry to this game. Uh, what more can they find from it? Smokes all round. Shadow Demon, Oracle, and Enchantress. Each buying a smoke here. Start breaking some heads. And then they immediately move to the mid lane. Liking the movement. I yeah, think this indeed, is the yeah. kind of systematic approach they needed to take. Ooh, I love this Zero. Planned up by Zero here. Yeah, so they're going to try and jump around actually onto him here. So Zero thought he was fighting a kill, but it was actually him finding his own death. Unfortunate. Yeah, it kind of puts a cork in this push. Yeah, back to the drawing board, gentlemen. Oh, maybe not actually. Smoke is up. They're looking to go just immediately again here. I mean, the CK is going to be back in 10 seconds. He can TP into this. If they're patient enough on KSK, I can see this fight working out in their favor. They do need to find yeah, a good target to pick off first. No here we go. Here. Fisher comes out onto the Monkey King. And now the Eclipse coming down as well. Mio getting low, but gets saved by the Oracle. There's that six coming through. Beastmaster having troubles. He might be losing his life here. Certainly will. Disruption out onto that Monkey King. Just trying to keep him locked down. And now in comes the Smiling right, Knight. Popping that ultimate. Trying to find a target, but he's getting chewed up. And now he gets sucked onto the Illusions. But they will be able to find the Lunar here, actually. Smiling Knight does find himself the big target at the end. Low skill is going to go down in the end to that Magnetize and Flimney. Having trouble as well. Meanwhile, on the sidelines, Zero trying to take down the Earth Spirit with Mio on top of him. That won't be possible. Somehow, they only got one kill in that engagement. Chaos Steel Commando, and now they have everything coming back in their direction. They have lost two already, and uh, well, I mean, this time it doesn't work out.
Oracle has the six, saves the target they initially go on. The Beastmaster still goes down, but who really cares about that? Meanwhile, Flimmy's going to take an axe to the face, and that means death. Meanwhile, Solo trying to play around a little bit here. Purifying Flame's not quite enough to finish the job, so he's going to be able to get himself to safety. But the tower is going to be the substitute for Killsteel Commando's shortcomings in this middle lane fight. I am amazed that Monkey King managed to survive after that false promise. I don't know yeah. who Shadow Demon ulted with his Demonic Purge, but if he ults the Monkey King... Like, the only reason the Monkey King lived is if he was not demonically purged, because there's no way, because Jingu would have gotten purged off, any heals that Oracle just, uh, put onto him would have gotten purged off, so I don't know who Solar ulted. Uh, but whatever the case, Mio being able to survive. did it on the Beastmaster and disrupted uh, the, uh, the Monkey King was the plan there. Yeah, it's not it's not worth getting a kill with Demonic Purge because like even if you do manage to get a kill, you're not going to be able to finish off the person who was false promised. As yeah, now this he monkey needs to be controlled. And, yeah, um, interesting one from Misery there, buddy. You good? Just uh, just had something on his mind, wanted to get a little bit of stress out. You know, nice a nice stress relieving roar always helps out. Purge comes out, but unfortunately he is stunned up, and this is going to be him going down once again. But now a beautiful Wukong's come out of there, even better. Magnetize coming out onto all five of them. They're trying to turn this one around and find some kind of fire. As a tankiness will come out from the boat onto the Luna. They're looking over towards five up here. Five up. They're trying to get down. Meanwhile, Bio he's jumping on in here. He's going to find himself an Enchantress. Looking forward for more. Oh, the draw and low skill is in so much trouble. Does find himself a kill, but will die in the process as well. Oh no. Balance is up. Oh. Playing around. Playing around. No overcommittals to be had here right now. Copy does have to be careful there. There's a Boundless coming out. Oh. And it catches out too beautifully actually. But the stun comes through onto the Monkey King. And that should be Copy getting out. Whew. Trolls coming back in. But he's going to leave it. Yeah, they're, they're done with this one. No uh... Really the the behind standing. it? Oh, he's just gonna ulti himself and TP away, I guess. Can he do that though? There's a disruption in two, up. one. Oh. oh! Oh, he's dead. Oh, yeah, he's dead. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> they just pumped enough into him. They can blow up all the same. Wow, I, I don't. I, I Somehow there's been like a massive net worth advantage after those two fights. Which, the second fight, Luna dying twice. Wait, no, Luna actually survived the second fight. Luna only died the first time. But this is a lot of time that she's not farming, and uh, now she will finally separate from her team as they will push the mid-tier one. And she has three points in Glaives now, but Chow Demon still is not really stacking too much. No, it's still just that one Ancient stack. Yeah, to me this is like one of the biggest advantages of having Shadow Demon Luna. Obviously, disruption on her Glaives is great, and you have a bunch of illusions that are bouncing everywhere. But Shadow Demon is like one of the best heroes in the game at stacking. Uh, I think he is the best hero. Coddle's yeah, maybe a close right. second, but overall, like the biggest advantage of having Shadow Demon is the very, very low investment he has to make to just walk around the map and he can get like an easy, easy triple stack and not really have to leave the lane for all that long. But meanwhile, there is a Roche attempt happening right now, and Troll's gonna pop the ultimate for it, so stuff will be subtlety be dim. As uh, so they, they take down this Roche, they know there's no chance of contesting it. And this is gonna be a freebie into the pockets of Yolo Knight. Probably taking out Smiling Knight here, I would guess. Maybe Mio. Yeah, they're gonna give it to the Troll. Oh, wait. Oh, guys? 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 There we go. Alright, Troll picks it up. Oh, but you take it. No, no, you take it. No, please, I insist, sir. I you insist. take it. I insist. <laughs> But, we'll uh, take the bot tier 2 as a trade, yes. uh, 5 up hunting, this is Enchantress's courier which is not really worth it. I'm not sure if this is a trade so much the consolation prize, but I'll take it. There's a choo choo wow, trainer here that's coming in on them right now though, and one of them yeah, is a still tree. Pushing. They don't have Phantasm. Hmm. Something's wrong with this tree. Can't put my finger on it. <laughs> Picking it out. Somebody's going, guys, I've, I've, I've found Monkey King. He was amongst us all along. Well, He's kind of dead though, yeah. Where are we going, Enchantress? There is no escape from the pain which is about to come your way. Master Risk lays a smack down. There's an Enchantress very firmly in the grave. Shoved down her, there, into the dirt. Her dying and the rest of her team getting out is absolutely worth it. I'm surprised that they continued pushing after they saw the Aegis was claimed. Because mm -hmm. uh, there's like no way that you're going to be able to threaten high ground at that point, but... They all get out cleanly, so no. Well, almost all, except for the Enchantress. Yeah, I mean, she she was kind of asking for that one. She was just kind of going for a bit of an adventure, walk around the woods. Yeah, it tends to happen. 
Don't go out in the woods today. And now Troll can just split push to his heart's content. The rest of the team can probably converge on his location in the time that it takes him to die between the first death and Battle Trance and Aegis. And now he's going to rejoin with the rest of his team. Yep, rendezvous, as they say. In en français. Uh, first Heaven Talbot competed on the side of... Uh... Ooh. He's, he's, he's doing some, uh, he's, he's juked them really hard here. I don't know how, but they seem to think he's in the trees and he is not in the trees. I don't know how we got out of that situation, but uh, some pretty nice movements there from Luna. I guess he just, with the better night vision, he somehow was able to outsmart uh, them. Yeah. Damn, he's going for Ags, what the hell? That's interesting. Oh man, I was not afraid what, of that. I, I think it's good. I think it's it's something to deal with the uh, Monkey King because Monkey King wants to put down his ult and stay inside that. It gives him armor, but it doesn't give him any magic resistance. I don't know. I... It's good if you're not a one position. Okay, it's well, one position, also, Luna, you also, cannot also. really do that because. Oh man, why would you do it? Yeah, <laughs> why would you your farm, go for your it? farm needs to increase, I guess, but. Screw it, I'm on board. Let's, let's just see the memes. I just want to see this Monkey King just not expect and get absolutely imploded by it. That, that's all I'm yeah, here for. Uh, the, the only thing is that they have an Oracle on their team also, and they have Battle Trance, so they could theoretically spawn it out. That's just sending in the illusions, but they've got Smiling Knight here, who's just going to make them all miss everything, so that's not really uh, going to... I don't know, I don't, I don't want to beat them out to this tower. Um, for now. And now all the illusions are dead, and let's hope they don't lose anybody on the exit, but uh, Zero's already in a spot of bother, so let's gonna just throw down the Demonic Purge here. Five up trying to chase him as well with that... Ooh, that's uh -oh. a dangerous place to TP, oh. but actually, oh, okay, they don't get him here. It's gonna be the, uh, the, the Shadow Demon who just gives his body up for his king. Fair enough, all right, they, they somehow make it out. Minus the Shadow Demon, but who really cares about him? The other thing is that... Intriguing. Monkey King and Troll Warlord. Troll already has his BKB on the oh dear. Luna, Monkey King is Luna. very close to his Luna, BKB. Luna, Luna, low scale, needs a way out of this one, but there is no way out of this one. She's just gone. Just straight up dead. So once the BKBs are finished for Monkey King, yeah. you have 4,200 gold on your Luna that is basically exclusively used to snipe supports. Uh, somewhat, oh, nice. somewhat. Unless they can wait, <laughs> they can bait out the BKB somehow, but uh, you just sure. put yourself into this weird position where you have to play the fights in an extremely specific way in order to end up winning. Yeah. Which is to say, not killing the carries. <laughs> they have to not kill the carries and win the fight. We are in a strange, strange situation. Some kind of... Uh... Galaxy brain strategies here, but I mean, you know, don't don't, don't knock it until we've seen it. But uh, we could certainly predict what we're about to see, and our, our forecasts are grim. May be able to cancel a TP as he's waiting here. The rest of his team is not pushing quite fast enough, though. Because if he could cancel a high ground reaction from like Copy, then that could be an easy set of racks. Yeah, I think as we know, KSK is not good planning on stopping here. Right? They've already proved this one once already. Is uh, Solar's gonna get dropped uh, just around the middle lane there? Tried to come out to defend it one. Let's see. The, the TPs. Oh, they see Master Risk from behind, and they're gonna try and go for Copy here. And I don't think Copy stands much of a chance of surviving this one. But that root channeled onto him. Uh, CK. They need to get themselves away. They're still trying to make this one happen somehow. And in comes the uh, the Heaven Talbot out onto the Monkey King. And made it ulti being thrown down from the Oracle. But Copy's still gonna lose his life. And now CK needs to leave, but Five Up is right behind him, and he's got not got any rocks left actually. So it's kind of hard for Zero Kick to. Him in. Uh, get cocked out, but it doesn't matter. They're still going to get the battle of strike. Mio's there in the trees, and that's going to be two heroes dead once again. But guess what, everybody? Luna's finished the Aghanims, and guess what she's going for next? Oh my god. Full commitment, full defy. That's all we're seeing here. Low skill. Well, He's just... All this stuff would be great if there weren't BKBs already online for the enemy carries. So, like, yeah, obviously turning one of these guys ethereal will be cool. fantastic as Solar will die. Uh, oh but, like, your high ground's getting pushed. Dying Smiling Knight's BKB is down, cooldown for 20 seconds. So, if there was ever a time to Aghanim's ult, it would have to be whenever there are no units around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really uh, putting themselves into what feels like an unwinnable position, but. 
Maybe, maybe they have the secret answers to the solution. Yeah, because if, if this was a traditional Luna, then I would say that things are going pretty well for KSK, because despite being 8k down, they're still trading towers. They're, they're one tower down, despite being so heavily outfarmed, which is great. But Luna has a bunch of useless net worth, which is not going to help. They're making space for her, and I don't really think she can do anything with it. <laughs> they don't even have any like BKB piercing disables that like, oh, you can catch this troll before he does anything, or you can finish off the Oracle, like, I don't know, from like super long range away. Or, like, these BKBs are always going to get popped by the Monkey King and the yeah. uh, Troll Warlord. And also, what's Solar thinking? He's like, all right, I'm going to play uh, Shadow Demon, you know, it's not the most fun hero, but at least I can make disruption illusions of my Luna, who's going to be super fun, do loads of right-click damage, and I can have some fun. And oh, she's built Ags, uh, Ethereal Blade. <laughs> yeah, Crap. I mean, they, they can still push. Just four points in Glaives is nice, but yes, like, I, I, a lot of the advantage of having this combination is from her just having, like, a Manta style and a Butterfly, and all of a sudden, like, no one can contest her high ground push. God, he's still making space though. Radiance top tower is uh, yeah, he is. He's, he's pushing these towers really deep. I mean, <laughs> getting so much damage on these high ground towers as well. This guy is super annoying. I mean, look at this dude. He's just he's just taking towers. He doesn't care. He's gonna take high ground, I think. No, no one is keeping coming. reacting to this Kunkka. Guys, he's going to. Okay, Earth Spirit shows up. Alrighty, there's there's someone. There's someone. A nice torrent. A nice a nice haste stream. And uh, copy is out of here. Scot free. A lot of damage onto the tower in the meanwhile as well. So pretty nicely done. Dude, this would be so good if they had a normal Luna. I mean, I'm willing to eat my words. If, if this pays off, then it like biggest galaxy brain play of the century. But I just don't see it happening. <laughs> this Kunk is making so much space. It's actually like really impressive. But do you think like maybe this is a case of um, Yolo Knight just going, all right, this Luna's going for a mean build. We don't really need to play properly. We can just kind of wait out the map. Like the later it goes, the less it's going to do. They're not even popping their B. Like, my king has a 10 second BKB still. Troll, he's got the 9 seconds. They're, they're still good, right? Well, the thing is, the Agnum's build doesn't really. Like, the only thing that really makes it fall off is BKBs. But otherwise, like, all the talents work with it. So she's going to get the Lucent Beam damage. She's going to mm -hmm. get the Eclipse Lucent mini stun. And that, that those, like, just make the Ags more and more viable as the game progresses. True enough. I, really, it's just the spell immunity that's a problem. Yeah. And your rack's getting pushed. Also important to know that the Ethereal Blade does give you the most Agi out of any item in the game, right? Yes. Meanwhile, but... the Kunker being bullied a wee bit here on the high ground. He needs some help right now, and that's not going to come for him. Zero's going to at least tank the stun, but I mean... Dude, look, they're pushing right, high ground. Anyway. Yeah, this is a goddamn Aghanim Scepter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, they should be able to make the trade here, I suppose. Lun Luna's here. The illusions are up as well, doing a ton of work. Flamino coming in from the side. I'm also going to help out with this one as well. But then look at the defenders one. The Luna's taking a ton of damage. Doesn't have a BKB. Silence. She might just be dead. Disruption comes out. The Luna, this might be it for her. The roll's going to be timed perfectly. Luna stunned up. Doesn't even get off the ultimate. She's going to get run down. Solo needs to get himself out. That's not going to happen, though. He's going to get killed off. He's going to be the second hero to die here. The Solo is going to lose his life as the battle strike comes. Come through him in the end. And they, I mean, they didn't even, they, they still managed to take, there's a ping on the tier fours for God's sake. Like this. They think this game's over and they might just be right. Well, Luna has yet to ult, so I would not really blame them for thinking that. God, they, I mean, obviously the game, like you said, would probably be playing out differently if this Luna went for a normal build. Uh, and so like, while it looks like they've gotten very close to pushing high ground, I won't say that if she went for a different build, they would have successfully gotten high ground. I imagine Yolo Knight would be playing completely differently if that were the case, but Either way, I think Yolo and I would still be winning. <laughs> yeah, they, uh, they 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 look pretty damn good in this one. Not much stopping them now as they come onto the high grounds. BKB is still in their pockets, still huge timers on them as well. Really hard for them to make any kind of counterplay here. Disruption okay, nicely done. Let's Alrighty, where is that axe, baby? And still holding on to it for now. And the BKB has already been put for the Monkey King. Maybe there's okay. an opportunity if they can bait out the trolls as well. Smiling Knight getting kind of low here, being healed up by the Oracle. They're going to try and leave it. In comes the ultimate coming on down here, but there's also the... Oh, oh God, there's a magic immunity from the Oracle. I completely forgot. Oh, Christ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, but me. High Ground was successfully taken uh, by Filmini Enchantress. Big plays. Woo! Good job, Enchantress. You did it. 
Meanwhile, they're coming back in over the top lane. This fight is not over yet. Misery and Smiting Knight, they're running themselves forwards right now. There is a Raw and a Blink available on the Beastmaster. He's got a low for it here. Raw comes down onto the copy here, but I don't think Mio is really in a position to jump on this one. He's going to get himself back. Meanwhile, CK, he, he just wants a, a, a little bit of wolf for dinner. Dude, you're missing a high intensity fight between this Enchantress and this Earth Spirit. They've been duking it out for like the he last. might be lying to me. <laughs> okay, he finally gets it. Well, we all go down. It gives him the ability to buy back into this one. Meanwhile, CK, he's in a spot of bother right now. By a spot of bother, I mean he's absolutely going to get his, his tuners canned. Now, Smiling Knight looking for a target, throwing some Max Aware film, and he has just come back to life with a buyback, but Mia's on the back of him here, and Charger, she needs to run. She needs to sprink herself away oh, from this bash. monkey thing, but that's just not going to happen. The Boundless Strike comes plonking on through. Once again, another hero dead. And this may be the last few minutes of this game right now as they get started on the tier floors. No more messing around. Yo, the Knights, they are here to do business as the, burn, the ultimate comes down on to the CK. So the Abyssal Blade cutting through zero, zero. He is no hero. He's going to get beaten on down. Five up. Uh, trying to get on top of him. Meanwhile, Mio comes jumping in across. And see you later, he says. He jumps on top of the Conquer. Copy. X marks comes out, Torrent as well, low skill on top of Mio. Low skill, trying to make Mio take a take a chill pill right now, telling well, even, him to get even back. Even with this build, Luna's still like 1v1ing this Monkey King, who has basically the same net worth, but still. Somewhat, somewhat, but now the Abyssal Blade comes out. All right, we've got, we, we've got 25 seconds, they're buying the time for the second Eclipse. Smiting Knight might be godlike, and he yeah. might be diving the fountain, but in 18, uh, the Agent might have exploded, Yeah. but she could still get off the... No, I'm just kidding. That, that, that game is, is about as over as games get right now. Yellow Knight, they, they get the...